Hello, hello, YouTube viewers. This is Blake Phantom. Please listen closely and like, share, and subscribe too. And please help me get to 1,000 subscribers. Thank you very much. But what you will hear in, in this video is much more important than getting to 1,000 subscribers. So please listen closely and focus. If you're too distracted to focus right now, text this video to yourself or or make a reminder about about this video's title so you can watch it later. I will give you 10 seconds to pause it so you can either so you can either text this to yourself or make a reminder about this video. Just a moment. Thank you. Set my timer for 10 seconds. Setting. Your timer is set for 10 seconds. Thank you very much. Chapter 19. It is better to be poor and honest than to be a fool and dishonest. Chapter 19. It is better to be poor and honest than to be a fool and dishonest. Zeal without knowledge is not good. A person who moves too quickly may go the wrong way. People ruin their lives by their own foolishness and then are angry at the Lord. Wealth makes many friends. Poverty drives them away. A false witness will not go unpunished, nor will a liar escape. Many beg favors from a prince. Everyone is the friend of a person who gives gifts. If the relatives of the poor despise them, how much more will their friends avoid them? The poor call after them, but they are gone. Acquire wisdom is to love oneself. People who cherish understanding will prosper. A false witness will not go unpunished, and a liar will be destroyed. It isn't right for a fool to live in luxury or for a slave to rule over princes. People with good sense restrain their anger. They earn esteem by overlooking wrongs. The king's anger is like a lion's roar, but his favor is like dew on the grass. A foolish child is a calamity to a father. A nagging wife annoys like a constant dripping. Parents can provide their sons with an inheritance of houses and wealth, but only the Lord can give an understanding wife. A lazy person sleeps soundly and goes hungry. Keep the commandments and keep your life. Despising them leads to death. If you help the poor, you are lending to the Lord, and he will repay you. Discipline your children while there is hope. If you don't, you will ruin their lives. Short-tempered people must pay their own penalty. If you rescue them once, you will have to do it again. Get all the advice and instruction you can, and be wise the rest of your life. You can make many plans, but the Lord's purpose will prevail. Loyalty makes a person attractive, and it is better to be poor than dishonest. Fear of the Lord gives life, security, and protection from harm. Some people are so lazy that they won't even lift a finger to feed themselves. If you punish a mocker, the simple-minded will learn a lesson. If you reprove the wise, they will be all the wiser. Children who mistreat their father or chase away their mother are a public disgrace and an embarrassment. If you stop listening to instruction, my child, you have turned your back on knowledge. A corrupt witness makes a mockery of justice. The mouth of the wicked gulps down evil. Mockers will be punished, and the backs of fools will be beaten. Chapter 20. Wine produces mockers. Liquor leads to brawls. 
Whoever is led astray by drink cannot be wise. The king's fury is like a lion's roar. To rouse his anger is to risk your life. Avoiding a fight is a mark of honor. Only fools insist on quarreling. If you are too lazy to plow in the right season, you will have no food at the harvest. Though good advice lies deep within a person's heart, the wise will draw it out. Many will say they are loyal friends, but who can find one who is really faithful? The godly walk with integrity, blessed are their children after them. When a king judges, he carefully weighs all the evidence, distinguishing the bad from the good. Who can say, I have cleansed my heart, I am pure and free from sin? The Lord despises double standards of every kind. Even children are known by the way they act, whether their conduct is pure and right. Ears to hear and eyes to see, both are gifts from the Lord. If you love sleep, you will end in poverty. Keep your eyes open, and there will be plenty to eat. The buyer haggles over the price, saying, it's worthless, then brags about getting a bargain. Wise speech is rarer and more valuable than gold and rubies. Be sure to get collateral from anyone who guarantees the debt of a stranger. Get a deposit if someone guarantees the debt of a foreigner. Stolen bread tastes sweet, but it turns to gravel in the mouth. Plans succeed through good counsel. Don't go to war without the advice of others. A gossip tells secrets, so don't hang around with someone who talks too much. If you curse your father or mother, the lamp of your life will be snuffed out. An inheritance obtained early in life is not a blessing in the end. Don't say, I will get even for this wrong. Wait for the Lord to handle the matter. The Lord despises double standards. He is not pleased by dishonest scales. How can we understand the road we travel? It is the Lord who directs our steps. It is dangerous to make a rash promise to God before counting the cost. A wise king finds the wicked, lays them out like wheat, then runs the crushing wheel over them. The Lord's searchlight penetrates the human spirit, exposing every hidden motive. Unfailing love and faithfulness protect the king. His throne is made secure through love. The glory of the young is their strength. The gray hair of experience is the splendor of the old. Physical punishment cleanses away evil. Such discipline purifies the heart. Chapter 21. six. Take care. Don't do your good deeds publicly to be admired because then you will lose the reward from your Father in heaven. When you give a gift to someone in need, don't shout about it as the hypocrites do, blowing trumpets in the synagogues and streets to call attention to their acts of charity. I assure you, they have received all the reward they will ever get. But when you give to someone, don't tell your left hand what your right hand is doing. Give your gifts in secret, and your father, who knows all secrets, will reward you. And now about prayer. When you pray, don't be like the hypocrites who love to pray publicly on street corners and in the synagogues where everyone can see them. I assure you, that is all the reward they will ever get. But when you pray, go away by yourself, shut the door behind you, and pray to your father secretly. Then your father who knows all secrets will reward you. When you pray, don't babble on and on as people of other religions do. They think their prayers are answered only by repeating their words again and again. Don't be like them, because your Father knows exactly what you need even before you ask Him. Pray like this. Our Father in heaven, may your name be honored. May your kingdom come soon. May your will be done here on earth just as it is in heaven. Give us our food for today, and forgive us our sins, just as we have forgiven those who have sinned against us. And don't let us yield to temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. If you forgive those who sin against you, your heavenly Father will forgive you. But if you refuse to forgive others, your Father will not forgive your sins. And when you fast, don't make it up. Chapter 7 Stop judging others, and you will not be judged. 
for others will treat you as you treat them. Whatever measure you use in judging others, it will be used to measure how you are judged. And why worry about a speck in your friend's eye when you have a log in your own? How can you think of saying, let me help you get rid of that speck in your eye when you can't see past the log in your own eye? Hypocrite, first get rid of the log from your own eye. Then perhaps you will see well enough to deal with the speck in your friend's eye. Don't give what is holy to unholy people. Don't give pearls to swine. They will trample the pearls, then turn and attack you. Keep on asking, and you will be given what you ask for. Keep on looking, and you will find. Keep on knocking, and the door will be opened. For everyone who asks receives, everyone who seeks finds, and the door is open to everyone who knocks. You parents, if your children ask for a loaf of bread, do you give them a stone instead? Or if they ask for a fish, do you give them a snake? Of course not. If you sinful people know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your heavenly Father give good gifts to those who ask Him? Do for others what you would like them to do for you. This is a summary of all that is taught in the law and the prophets. You can enter God's kingdom only through the narrow gate. 